Hey guys, welcome back. Now we have officially got the Android Oreo update for the Nokia 8. And from the past one month, I guess more than that, it was on the beta. And on the earlier edit, I've shown you guys a comparison between the Android Nougat performance versus the Oreo. So we will take a look on this thing too. Some of the benchmarking things, whether anything is changed or not. So I'm using this device from after updating that. So yeah, it is a kind of faster, slightly faster compared to the what you have seen on the beta. Yeah, compared to the Nougat, I will say uh, it's more or less same. I don't find too much difference in there, especially in terms of the camera, you know, launching camera application is faster, but it's still uh, SDR processing is very slow. It struggles is still doing the focus, not as quick as, you know, uh, in the other phones, which are having the same specs like the RAM and the processor. I hope Nokia should bring this Nokia camera back, which is there in older Lumia phones, uh, right? You know, it should be coming very soon, but let's see. And other devices like the 6, 5 and all, they will be getting very soon the Oreo update followed by the, since the Nokia 8 is a kind of flagship, so it should be getting the first one. So, um, you know, what has been changed in this update? So technically there is no uh, change at all, except the monthly security patch level, which is obviously should be of the November this time. And you know, if you just compare the old change log versus the new change log, you can exactly come to know and see everything is just same so anyway guys i have shown you so many videos in the past all the android oreo features so i'll put all the playlist link in the description just go and watch it but still i will just show you some of the important features that are added in this update like the picture in picture mode this you know smart text selection and along the side this what is this autofill password so let's get start and do some comparison with the older one and the new one some benchmarking and the new features so guys here is a quick comparison between the google pixel xl the latest android 8.1 comparing with the same the running on the official now the android 8.2 the nokia 8 so that you can see uh, in the future you're going to get something like that now the oreo icon is being changed here so this should be like the real oreo cookie anyway it's nice to have it so uh, one thing i really like about this nokia 8 like they're completely having the nexus kind of feeling you can call it as a mid-range or exactly the nexus phones not like the android one which can be manufactured with any of the manufacturer but this is kind of nice so anyway guys this is it about the quick overview so looks to be nice and let me show you guys some other manufacturer how they are comparing the one of the best example is the comparing with the oneplus devices so this is oneplus 3 and 3t official android Oreo update and then one, no sign for yet on the OnePlus 5, but still as you can see, so the OnePlus, uh, what they're doing, they're exactly using as, uh, you know, even though they were called as a stock Android completely, it is there, but they're using the old Android Nougat way, which is something not good, at least they should have to stick with the default stock one, and I'm sure they're not going to change it because, you know, it is not the official, and on the 8.1, definitely they will be just adding a few features, not more than that, so... And here's the one quick thing, the default launcher on the both the phones. So as of now, uh, the Nokia 8 is running with the older launcher 3 for the Android uh, Nougat, not the latest one that you get in the Pixel phones, like on the Pixels 2. Let's see in the future it is coming or not. So here it is a quick security patch table, the first change you have. Now it is running on the normal security patch, which is kind of very nice. Let's see when the uh, next one is going to come. And this one here is a new feature called as a notification start. Again, just I'm showing you it's very old feature. So whenever you can get any kind of notification, uh, for example, or you stall something, I'm just showing you here on the Play Store, it will just work on any kind of messages or something else. So on the Play Store, you can see there is a blue dot game. So because we have just installed the new application and you can easily uh, see it on side this app drawer also. Kind of very nice. Next thing guys is picture and picture mode. I'm just showing you here again how to do it. First thing you guys have to do, go inside the setting and search for picture in picture. You will see the option. You have to first make sure like you have enabled this picture in picture mode. And these are the supported applications as of now it is working. So YouTube, don't just confuse it. It is YouTube Red, which is not working in India in case you are outside uh, to India. Definitely you can use it. So as of now you can use it on the Google Chrome because Chrome supports that. So make sure you go to the, any of the YouTube video you want to play. And you have to uh, make sure to use in the request as a text desktop mode otherwise it won't work now once your desktop mode is up and running just click on the video and try to view the video in the full screen mode you can see it down in the option this is the square one you have to play there on the full screen mode then hit the play button and after that don't just uh, hit the home button it won't work uh, try to use the app switcher button going back again and clicking on this full screen mode now once you hit here you can see on the app switcher button now you can easily Float that window anywhere else wherever you wanted to. So it will work on over top of the any other application. Next is guys the smart text selection. It's again very cool feature. Now the Google is making, you know, just trying to aware what you're typing actually. So whenever you type something, if you just double tap to select it, it will just try to figure out what that thing actually. For example, I have just typed a random number of the Gurgaon, Delhi and CR. If I just double tap to select it, it will just sense like it's a number, it will just pop up the phone dialer 
uh, for example you can write the location or something it will pop up the map so once you go there click there it will just open the phone there so next thing we have now the autofill which is again very nice so here you need to go inside the settings search for the autofill service and make sure you select here this uh, google uh, autofill service now how to get this autofill with google so maybe you have to enroll in the google beta program as of now it is not working in all the countries so just go to uh, google search and just type here google uh, beta application you just have to enroll it and make sure you're running the latest version up and running then after that you can just go and use the article service let me give you guys a quick demo here is how i'm going to add this here's the instagram i'm just going to add a new account here so once you go and type your username and password there I'm just going to type in my quickly the username and password here it is now once you type it you can see after that click on the login the google will give you option do you want to save this next time when you're going to uh, log into any of the devices with the same google account it will just uh, show the password again that you have saved here now guys let's do a quick performance comparison i'm quickly going to launch all this here so we have the three in uh, one here android nuga 7.1.1 and center we have the android latest 8.0.0 right now we have the beta one so here is one i'm just quickly launching the application faster way we are going to do a real life test here now i'm just going to make a slow one thing i really hate here because uh, even with the four gigabytes of ram it is working so poor in memory management not all the apps and games in the memory at least out of the five games we should be getting uh, you know at least three to four games in the memory so be sure to check out my android even uh, this me even android one with the google pixel XL. you can see the me even with the four gigabytes of ram is keeping out of the four to the five games in the memory super performance even though it is running stock and right i just don't know why it is taking so much time anyway uh, this time it is going to take uh, 7.1.1 it's going to take 2 minutes 45 seconds of overall opening and resuming application and games now making a quick fast forward let's see here how much time these two invite oreo versions take so oreo official is going to take uh, here it is 3 minutes 25 seconds followed by the oreo beta which is 3 minutes 20 seconds there is no change in terms of performance overall here's a quick benchmark comparison for you so after updating i am getting a score of 180k quite quite impressive and comparing with the old one before update it should be 173 can you know about that so 180k is a quite good score and here is a geek benchmark score with a 6658 after the update and before the update it is just now here quite good and respectable score so this is guys over the benchmark score so guys do you have it this is your nokia 8 official android audio update and be sure to check out the old videos and especially this if you want to make your phone completely scratch proof looks beautiful transparent all the way so i will have the link in the description be sure to check it out so once again guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy it this is sarab i'll catch you very soon have a great day